Okay, welcome to um, Breaking Art. Today, we're gonna make uh, an end plate. And for those of you who don't know what an end plate is, it's pretty much just like a call to action at the end of your video. It can say the things so that you don't have to, like, um, like rate, and like, subscribe, stupid bell, you know, th things like that. That way you don't have to say it at the end of every video. And it reminds whoever watched, if they liked it, to, you know, do something about it. Because a, a lot of times we get into watching and we forget. So, let's get started. So you notice there's there's nothing going on here. And um, this is good also too. Like but a lot of what I'm about to say is going to translate into your video editor. You don't necessarily have to have Premiere. Steps might be slightly different. But a lot of tool terminology is the same across the board. So if you don't have Premiere, you still might find this helpful. And um, if so, awesome. If not, um I apologize. So, now that we got the, the new file open, like I said, there's nothing going on. We want to bring in our files. And we want to bring in something that's, like, to the dimension. Like, this video is, is 4K. So, we're going to bring that in as a background. That was the intro we made last week. So, brought it in. You see it pops up down here. You want to grab it. You want to put it into... This is the timeline. This is where the stuff actually happens. This is your actual canvas. So drag and drop, bring it into the timeline. That one's good. That's like good. I got a little warp drive thing at the beginning of this, I think. Yep. I'm gonna wait for that to pass. Okay. So I'm gonna clip that out. And you could do a, a quick clip by just grabbing the end and pulling it in on the timeline. Then you grab this and pull that over as well. And it's good to get your background set up first before you do anything else. At least that's how I do it. It helps us stay organized. Now we're gonna wanna bring in other things here too. We're gonna wanna bring in some, some toys, some, some things to put in there. And I've got my nice little toy box here. This is where I put, you know, random things like bell, yeah, yeah, bell there. And then we've got this. We made this in in the Photoshop's, and it's a PNG file. That way it overlays, which is pretty nice. That's pretty good. And so we've got we need the bell. And then you hit control, you can grab that. And then we got we're gonna want the title for the Christmas special. That's that's good. And then we also got uh, we don't need that one. Definitely need the subscribe button. And we got the thumbs up too. That's awesome. That's a good thing. We gotta bring all these things in here. Okay. That's uh that's pretty good. And then, so from here, you just want to stack everything to get everything into position. It's going to, it's going to help you out quite a bit. Alrighty. So all stacked, ready to go. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. That looks like a big old mess. Big old mess. So you're going to grab everything and just put it in its own individual section. So you click on it and then up here you click on your effect controls. So you can do things like positioning, opacity, you know, kind of kind of stuff you, you normally do in Photoshop. Well, you can do it here too in Premiere. So like I said, just kind of get, get stuff out of the way so you can see with what you're working with. Not too hard, not too shabby, and then up, up, up. So this one, I'm going to want to put on the bottom because it's dynamic. Organize it, you know, however, whatever you feel is right. 
do what you feel is right. There's the bell. Ah, stupid bell. And then it should be the subscribe button. Oh, that's the subscribe button. One more that's over here. And then we'll bring these guys back. Bring it up. Bring it over. And yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we'll now we're cooking with uh with Crisco. Um we're gonna get rid of that bell for for space purposes. For space purposes, which is gonna be pretty good. Alrighty, so got a few more things. We got a um, whoa, got a few more things we gotta take care of real quick. You just uh, a little bit of a little bit of video footage. So we're gonna come in. We're gonna grab now. Uh, I want kind of like my older videos to get some get some visibility. They've kind of um. I've kind of just been sitting out here doing nothing, you know, so like my older videos. So we want to bring those up. And I had um, somewhere here my last year's video. I don't know what I did with it, though. We might not have it on this one. Let's see. What do we got? Leftovers, Thanksgiving. We need this one. That's going to show her. Let's play stuff, so that's pretty good. And let's see, what else do we got? No, yeah, that's what we want. I'm just going to do these two for now. Bring this in. And then one thing you notice, we've run out of layers. Oh, no. What do we What do? Because we do? we're going to bring in two videos, but... We got to stack them, and we still got to have all this stuff on here, too. Real easy. You do like that. Just drag a layer up. Pull it up to the highest. It'll automatically create another layer for you. Same with the audio, too. Bam. New layer. New layer. That's awesome. Awesome. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So you come in. Do, do, do. We, want, we want the exciting stuff. And then this is going to show, whoa, ah, come on, let's do this, let's do this, I'm going to put this in a nice little spot there, this is the no neutral holiday special, we'll bring that there, that's kind of covered up some of our stuff, so we can bring this down, and it disappears. Yeah. Okay. Why does it completely disappear? Oh, yeah, because we got this layer off. There we go. Now it's not completely disappeared. And then, yeah, so what I did was this eyeball. If, if you move something on a layer and it just disappears, look at your eyeballs. See where you're at. Good, good little tip there. All righty. So we've got one piece of footage in, and then we just need the other cave of digital fullness I think it works pretty good we want to get it at a interesting spot with an interesting flow right, it's looking pretty good there not too not too bad if I, if I say so and bring this over right here we're gonna drop it down drop it like hot Oops, shrink it up a little bit and then I give give us a little little something something to look at and what's this one and you just kind of adjust these wherever wherever you see fit like I said up over here is your you know position you could you even rotate stuff that's kind of cool control Z if you mess it up bring it back but now it's all it's all about the positioning putting things where you want them to be put and we'll get into animation in just a second. One thing I'm missing, just gonna, I'm just gonna drop in um, logo real quick. So let's see if we can find one here. Shouldn't take me too long to find one. Come in here, we've got the website, we've got the website, and it's not the website. Uh, assets, oh no, we're looking for. Uh, 
Yeah, brand assets. I want to see, show me my logo. Just my logo. Uh, parts maybe? No, not in parts. Not in parts. Uh, okay. Well, that one's all red though. We've got too much red in this. I don't know what to do. We'll just, we'll just grab the logo. We'll come in like this. See what we can do with it. Here, banner. Bring that up. Creates another layer. Awesome. 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 Bring this over. And then... So we want the subscribe button over top of that there. Why is the subscribe button on the bottom? Okay, grab the subscribe. Bring that up. One more layer. One more layer. Now we can... Bring the subscribe over, over. That's our position area under our effects tab. If your screen doesn't look like this, go up to window and then workspace and you either do graphics or you do effect and play around with those. Find what's, find what's best for you there. I'm a little busy, but it's okay. What can you do? All right, now we grab, which one's this one? Is that the thumb? Nope, that's the thing. Look for the thumb. There's a thumb. We want to make our thumb a little bit bigger. That'd be kind of cool. We're gonna bring it over like this. And then up and over. We should be about good to go. Now, you want to make the video the length that you want it here. We want a good um, good 10 seconds, somewhere in there. So I'll just kind of drag everything to beginning to fit. It's just a brief end card. We'll go to 12 <laughs> seconds here. 12 seconds should be good. Should be able to get it all under control. Okay, there it is. Okay. There. And then um, C does your slicing tool. The slices and dices. It even cuts Julian fries. And you just cut it all the way down. The board. V grabs. You drag it. This is all your excess. That's what you want to trim out. And... We've got it trimmed. All system tap, Colonel. There we go. One thing is, is we got sound. I'm not gonna want to sound. Well, I'm not going to want the sound with this. You want to remove the sound because this could be at the end of a few videos. Sounds gonna be different for each one. It's however you edit that video. Now we want things to, you know, just kind of, just kind of animate a little bit because if you watch. It's just kind of going to be, you know, static. Everything is kind of doing its own thing. But we want to draw some attention to some certain aspects. So we're going to look at the, I believe this is my thumb. Yep, that's my thumb. We want that to kind of like pulsate or something or fade in and out. Who knows? Who knows? We're just going to go with the opacity. Back over here in effects. Come down underneath the motion. You got the opacity. Start at zero, bring it up to 100. Here we go. And we'll just kind of kind of have this go back and forth a little bit. Down to 27, back up to 100. And then we can do like this. Do copy paste. And paste. Paste and copy, paste, and then this right here that's where you're at in the timeline. That's good to know. You slide it, you slide it in a lot of places up here in your effects, also down here as well. Slides it in, in both areas. 
that's where you are in time and space. It's always um, it's always a good thing to know where you're at there. Now, you want to go back to the beginning. You press go to in or shift I, or you could just click the button. And then you want to preview it to see how the action looks. And then, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's looking pretty good. It's it's pulsating good and good and nanny there. It's another thing we want to do. We want to mess with the the scale a little bit. We want it to come forward at you. So you click a keyframe, little stopwatch, drag it to the beginning, and scale it up. And that's what you want it to stretch to. Whatever your heart's content there. We just want that. We want that moving, blinking, getting people's attention. That's looking pretty good. Next, we want to play with the subscribe button. And always try to name your files. See, they're already named. Kind of somewhat organized for me already. I can just read them. So, create good names for all your files. So you can get into get in a good habit of doing that there. So, we see it's at 33%. That's good and subdued, but we want to go zero. And we want to get everybody's attention with this. Go up to 61, and then we'll go down to the 33. With this one, we want to oscillate the scale. Bring it up, slide this over, and bring it down. Slide this over, and then grab these two, and we play Control C, copy, Control V, paste. Let me move this over. Control V paste. And uh, move these over. And then Control V. And move these over. And then Control V. And move these over. And one more time. Control V. And yeah, that should be good. And it should be good to go. Now I'm gonna test out the action one last time. And we should be good. We should be good to go. Maybe a little fast, but for instructional purposes. That looks like looks like it has it. Looks like it has it. So now you got yourself a good good end card. And I'm gonna try to start doing these, changing these up once a week. It, and what it does is it forces you to create links in your video description that links to other videos, which is going to help with your visibility. It's going to help with your SEO, things like that. One last thing that we got to do. Now it looks all pretty and everything. We just got to come up and export it. But before you do that, you want to save. Save and save often. That's what we always say here. And then next thing you want to do, you want to export it which means that you're you're leaving the canvas and and going to the print studio so we go export media yeah that's what we got to do there it's a little redundant i don't mess around with the export settings and the actual thing it's a little weird for me a lot easier just to do the the queue there it brings up your media and quarter queue and then down here, you've got your presets. I use the YouTube at the 4K. You want to grab that preset, left click, hold, drag on the file you're about to render, and let go. And you see it's changed it from whatever that was, AVI, to MP, MP4. And then you want to click that. You want to make sure that it gets to the right destination there. For us, we'll go um, desktop. And then we want to go toy box and we just name it whatever. And I name it based off of the date and plate 12, 20, 17. So we've got it saved. I always double check to make sure I grab my preset because sometimes I forgot to do that. MP4 looks good. Looks good. All looks good here. Everything good. Now we just click play. And ready to rock. And now we just we just play the waiting game. And see it's taken um wow 40 seconds. 40 seconds. We're gonna have this rendered. So I'll just sit. 
I'll wait with you. It's already already almost done. And I'll show you I'll show you how this works. As soon as it is done. Do the hustle. Okay. Now that it's done, you come over here. Now we don't need this file anymore. We're probably going to be in another project at that point. So we'll just go, we'll go new. We'll go project. We'll go test end. And then you click OK. And then, oh, it did the thing again. It did the thing. We didn't delete everything. That's OK. And you come in. I already have a video done this morning. I made a video for um, BA Place. So we're just going to use that as an example. And then 12, 12, 17, that's not today. What happened to the one I just made? Oh no. Come up here. If you can't find a file that you just made, there we go. Huh. Weird. That's right. I made an Overwatch file. I forgot that I did that. That was a redundancy. I didn't need to do that. So another way you could get files in is if you go to File Manager and you just uh, pull up the file that you want. You can also drag and and sometimes drop. It's not letting me do it. Why are you embarrassing me today? Drag, drop, in, done. Of course, whatever reason, it didn't bring in the audio file. So never mind. You go delete or control Z and just do it the old fashioned way. Import. You go desktop. Where's my desktop? We'll have the desktop here. Let's get to the desktop. And then Overwatch. And then there we go. Here's my. Debo footage, drag drop, bring that in there. Delete all this stuff that you don't need anymore. We don't need it. We're done with it. Keep everything nice and clean, which is why we made a whole video for the end plate. That way, during the week, as we're making videos, we keep everything nice and clean. So you come in, you know, you're checking everything. Got everything on here. And... You've got your video edited. I think I already have an end plate on this one. But we shall see. All right. Yep. See there? There's my old end plate. Now we got the new because we just made one. We can bring this up back up here and grab. Oh, you needed to see that. I'm sorry. You grab the file folder. We could dismiss that. And. 12 20 17 yep that's us grab it drag drop bring it in and you got yourself an end plate my friends you got yourself an end plate all there completely rendered ready to go it's got all the things that we said our subscribe button is humming there or thumbs up is cutting in and out and now you can just make a video and not have to stress, uh, you know, saying all the, don't forget, rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to click the stupid bell. You know, you don't have to be redundant with every video. Sometimes you could give it a pass and that end card is going to do a lot of the hard work for you. And I also give a, if you still want to say all this stuff, you could still say all of that. And this is just going to reinforce it. End plates. Trust me, there's a radio, There's a reason why these videos have end plates. Um, there's a reason why people do it. So it's a good thing to have. Good tool to have. You switch them up and everything. Um, I usually use one for about a week and then I make a new one because they're pretty easy to do. Now that you have all these in place and everything, it's just going to be pretty much a cookie cutter cookie cutter you could even i know i showed you earlier to delete everything you don't have to do that you can leave all these in place and just swap out the videos make it different every time it's up to you the world is your burrito and when it comes to audio video sometimes you know consistency is a good thing well 
anyway that's all i've got this week thanks for watching i hope you found that informative um don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and also um see more in the links below you find all my other groups uh facebook groups uh different channels ba plays things like that all found in the links and don't forget to check out the website um breakingartsandmusic.com i'm also um you know sometimes i'm at taco bell too so so you come check me out at a fast food establishment they don't pay me or anything but i like to buy burritos other than that talk to you later be awesome um stay excellent to each other bye